Welcome to the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And once again, 5G is taking center stage. Now, 5G is the next generation mobile network that will take your data from OK fast to insanely fast. At least that's what the industry is promising. I think if we go back in time, 2G and 3G was sort of more you and me communication. Now, with 5G, we're going to see sensors. We're going to see you know, high-speed, real-time interaction in industries, in manufacturing flows, in surveillance, in artificial intelligence, with avatars and holograms. Uh, it is, sounds a little bit futuristic, but it is around the corner. But don't get too excited just yet. It's going to take a few years before the proper rollout of 5G. The industry still needs to iron out a few kinks, as well as build out entirely new infrastructure and devices. And by devices, it also includes a so-called Internet of Things, like this Internet-connected punching bag, which can measure, using existing infrastructure, the power of each punch and transmit the data in real time. The real magic happens when 5G comes on board and scores of connected devices can be able to react and respond to each other immediately, like these robots. Now, this is an example of a factory floor. These robotic arms are busy manufacturing colored pens. When controlled over a 5G network, they'd be able to work in concert and also adapt to new directions instantaneously. I don't think that 5G is going to change your life right away. This is uh, still early days. Even when these networks get deployed next year, they're going to be in limited areas. They're going to be limited devices. So for now, 5G is a demo at a trade show that tantalizes us with the promise of super fast speeds and reliability. So I can go ahead, activate the sensor and kick this ball. And a robot in a completely different hall will mimic my kick. 5G is a work in progress for now, but at least the goal is in sight.